In the previous videos in this section, we talked about Azure Web Apps already. I explained you how to deploy web apps from the portal from Visual Studio and walked you through some configuration settings. Where in this video, I would like to zoom in on web apps, monitoring and diagnostics. Where I will cover a couple of topics. The first one is using monitoring from Azure Admin Portal. Then jumping over to more specific monitoring for web applications. Then guiding you through application insights, which gives you real detailed feedback about overall traffic, about overall health and uptime of your web application, as well as showing you how to configure alerts to find out what's going on with your web apps. So the first one, monitoring. Now, I already covered quite a lot about Azure Resources Monitoring in Volume 1, where I can immediately share that the built-in monitoring from the Azure portal is exactly the same for using web apps. So it provides you generic monitoring where you can define the time range, defining the chart type, as well as pinpointing which values, which telemetric information you want to get out of it in the monitoring dashboard. If you're interested in more specific monitoring for web applications, that is also provided directly out of the portal or by using APIs. It provides you, for example, diagnostics logging, helping you in finding out if something is wrong with your website. It gives you a view on Logstream, giving you Process Explorer. You can really pinpoint which of your web applications is using which processes on the underlying web server infrastructure. And then you can also specify specific metrics per instance and specific metrics per application server. And then lastly, as you can see in the screenshot, you can also get a view on live HTTP traffic. So it's real-time information. Now, monitoring from the portal is really interesting, it's useful, but it's sometimes a bit limited since you have to use the portal, where Azure provides you an interesting feature, Application Insights. I already covered Application Insights in the previous volume, but I want to recap some information here if you missed that specific section. Application Insights give you integrated analytics, which is fully integrated with your development tool like Visual Studio. It allows you to analyze web application patterns, as well as detecting, filtering, and diagnosing performance issues. So it's a full 360 view on your application, giving you detailed information insights on availability, performance, and using scenarios. Monitoring is one part, but it's also interesting to know that you can configure additional alerts based on metrics or events, where a couple of different configuration parameters are available, like the metric with a condition, a threshold, and a time period. Alerts by itself sent through by using email or relying on webhooks, allowing you to integrate with third-party monitoring solutions. So with that, let me jump back to my Azure portal and walk you through some of the topics that I covered in this video. Let me take my web application here. It's still up and running and walking you to some of the monitoring aspects. So here, live from the portal, as you can see, I was just clicking around on my website and I get an automatic view on requests and error messages. Now, since my website is live, I don't have any specific error messages, but I get 26 requests to my website. If I wanna get a view on more detailed telemetrics and data, I can zoom in for any given moment in time. Then as you can see, it will change the number of requests based on my selections. Or from here, I could add a specific alert based on my web application, too many requests, and then creating an alert. If my request is more than X amount of data during a certain period of time, send an email to my Azure admin owners or an additional email address if you want. So that's really, really easy. I also talked about some additional monitoring features.
out of, for example, application insights. When I deployed my website from Visual Studio, I already pointed out that Application Insights is integrated. What Application Insights does is giving you detailed view on about everything that's running inside your web app. Now this one is pointing to the previous deployed web app, so it's not a live website yet. That's why some of the data is not visible, but I can quickly walk you through some of the features. It's giving you an application map showing you the client side and the server side of your specific web application where for example you can monitor ajax dependencies if they are there in your web app http and sql dependencies or live metric stream which again won't work for this web app because the website is not up and running but there are some demo dashboards available where you can get a direct live view about the number of requests per second, incoming requests, outgoing requests, and overall view on the server health. Or zooming in on any specific failures based on a certain time range, based on certain filters. So really, really powerful detailed logging out of application insights. To show you where this information comes from out of Visual Studio, Remember, in the previous demo, when I deployed my application, I activated or left the activation mark for Application Insights. And what it does here is, in your Visual Studio coding, actually adding Application Insight pointers. And again, this is all done automatically. So just by activating that flag, I want to publish this website and having application insights integrated it will recognize your azure environment and hooking up with one of your existing application insight configurations and if there's none available then it will automatically create one so this was a, another demo on using azure web apps monitoring and diagnostics where i'm jumping over to the last video in this section talking about scalability of your Azure Web App.